happy sunday um one of the things that i you know kind of you know talk to my clients about over and over again is um you know you cannot have a rational conversation with a person who's irrational i'm dr natalie jones i'm a licensed psychotherapist um so i work with clients who are victims of abuse and i also work with people who perpetrate abuse and or violence and i've done it for many many years and you know people who've been married who have children who you know are partnered or who are from their family of origin um they spend many many years trying to you know, have a conversation with people who are abusive to them, right? They try to tell them you're hurting me or um, this doesn't work for me or how can we be on the same page and, you know, how can we go to therapy and things like that. But when you have someone who is exploiting you for their own personal gain, so that means that they're abusing you, they're trying to take advantage of you sexually or for your finances or for whatever sort of value that you bring to them. The person isn't rational most of the time. They're looking out for self and they're really not, um, they're not in a place where they want to, uh, you know, collaborate. They're not in a place where they want to be a partner. They just want what they want and they don't care, um, you know, what impact it has on you, right? And they're fully aware of what they're doing. They're fully aware that this is harming you. It's just that they do not care. But a lot of victims or survivors or however you choose to refer to yourself, they are um, they have trouble with seeing that. And they feel like, oh, this person is, isn't understanding me or, um, you know, that my message isn't being relayed. You know, your message is, is, is being relayed just fine, right? In, in, most, in most cases, it usually is because it's something that you've told a person 1,000 times over the years. However, you cannot communicate with an irrational person. They want what they want. You might as well be speaking, you know, Portuguese, and they might as well be speaking like, you know, Spanish or something else like that. Um, they're, they're choosing not to understand. They're choosing not to collaborate. And you're spending a lot of wasted time, energy, and effort on a person that doesn't want to consider your needs, doesn't want to be a partner, um, and doesn't want to be fair. They just want what they want. This comes up a lot, um, you know, and I've experienced it, you know, when I was in my 20s, and I wish this was some, I wish this was advice that I had known about and or taken in my 20s. Like, for example, when you have a partner, you know, especially if you're a woman and you have a male partner that doesn't have a job or he refuses to work or financially contribute um, to the home or he's taking advantage of your resources, this comes up a lot, right? Or if you have someone that's physically abusive and they promise to change and then what, what do you know? They sort of act out again, right? You cannot have a rational conversation with someone who is irrational. They intentionally twist the conversation, turn the conversation, gaslight, choose not to understand, choose not to take accountability, choose not to work on themselves. They choose not to better the situation. So therefore you cannot have a rational conversation with an irrational person and you need to do yourself a favor no matter how much you've invested in this relationship if you want any type of peace and sanity um quality of life you need to stop trying to have that conversation and think about yourself and act accordingly that's all for sunday bye bye